What's happening, YouTube? Caliber here. We're here to talk about the Final Fantasy Brave XVS uh, banner for this Friday and the new event that's coming out. So let's check this out. There's a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, one of the things we got going on, it looks like we have a step up banner coming. Uh, we have um, Malfacy and Cersei. Malfacy was illustrated by Inku, and Cersei was illustrated by Neil Stock are two of the winning entries for the 2017 FanFest Unit Design Contest. Uh, kudos to you guys. Um, congrats. Your units finally made it up here. Um, I think we were told we were going to get a long while back ago. It's taken a bit, but they're here. That's what matters. They're here. Um, drop rates uh, will increase on September 28th. Major, major boost to drop rates from 928 to 1012. Also available in a step up. The step up is a 25k step up. It's our traditional 25k step up that Gumi's been giving us. Uh, we get the 10% trust Moogle for uh, 10 plus ones. Uh, the next one is another 5k, 10 plus ones, guaranteed four star ticket. Um, normally we get like a uh, normally we get like the uh, the four star unit in here, but I don't think there's a four star unit on this banner. Um, I'm a little confused. Uh, two five to seven stars. I I don't know. Anyways, step three is up another 5k, 10 plus one summons. Uh, we get a uh, five star uh, random uh, random rainbow. Step four is another 5k, a 10 plus one. We get the 10% rainbow ticket or 90% blue that most of us refer to it as. And the very last step, 5k, 10 plus one summons. We get Malfisi or Cersei guaranteed one or the other. All right. So, uh... Let's check out this unit. This unit looks like uh, Malfisi. It looks like a, um, a hybrid unit. The ma uh, attack and magic are about the same, 258 to uh, 253 on attack. Uh, Super Trust Master Reward is Ravenheart. It's an attack and magic by 40, uh, attack and magic by 20%, uh, MP 10%, defense and spirit by 10 Enable dual cast, enable uh, magic twice in one turn, enables Ravenheart. Ravenheart increases physical and magical damage against birds and demons by 25%. Uh, this is a very, very, very nice super trust mastery. I could see this going really good with Frevia. Um, other hybrid units, um, Conchira. Um, I don't know why you would need the dual cast on it, but I don't, I don't know how this unit works. Um... Looks like we got a claw unit here. The Trust Mastery is a uh, 95 attack claw with 110 magic and MP 10%. Um, definitely pushing towards the hybrid. Uh, uh, this is this is screaming hybrid all over the place. Hybrid uh, magic and attack user. Uh, Intense Rancor is a seven star uh, ability used once every five turns. Boosts physical and magical damage against demons, birds, for self and damage one enemy. Uh, Birds of the Feather, another 7-star ability. One use every 8 turns. Reduce defense and spirit for all enemies and increase LB gauge for all allies. Um, pretty cool sounding. And then we have Thousand Wings here. Deal damage to all enemies and power up after using Thousand Wings or Thousand Wings Plus and change to a Thousand Wings Plus next turn. Um, that looks like tornado to me. Um, that looks like it could be a stack in tornado. I really hope so. That'd be pretty cool. Um, we don't have a stack in tornado yet in the game. So if that's the case, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, let's look at Cersei here. Cersei has a uh, 346 magic. That's the strong stat there. Um, five to seven star. Get Sybil's Crescent for Super Trust Mastery, Attack 24, Magic 164, MP 20%, Enable Spiritual Flux, Spiritual Flux fills LB Gauge every turn, Trust Mastery, Fossade, A Balance, Magic 45%, MP 20%, Enable uh, Frevor, uh, Boost LB Gauge Fill Rate, uh, this unit screaming uh, LB Fill Rate all over the place. Um, Ouroboros, another seven, uh, is a seven star ability once every five turns, magic damage, reduce spirit and all elemental resistances and gradually damage all enemies every turn for three turns. Enable all C and I predict downpour, predict sandstorm, predict flash freeze, predict heat wave for one turn. 
Uh, predict Rapture deals uh, um, uh, partial unmitigated uh, magic damage to all enemies and fill LB gauge for caster. Uh, predict Torrental Omen. Um, water magic damage to one enemy and fill LB gauge for caster. It looks like gets a lot of uh, this unit gets a lot of predict spells, which is leading me to believe they're going to have a double cast, triple cast maybe of uh, predict abilities. I could be wrong, but usually when you see like a uh, predict or another name right in front of a, a bunch of abilities, that usually means you're going to, uh, we get double, we get a W ability cast of some sort. Um, let's see here. Uh, these units will be added to the EX and 10 plus one summon pools without an increase to drop, right? All right, cool stuff. Uh, the five star units introduced in the FFBE Raid of Darkness Awakens event will be added to the select summon pool after the event concludes. All right, so good stuff, good stuff, guys, good stuff. All right, so we have the FFBE Raid Darkness Awakens happening. Yes, guys. We have another raid. Um, hopefully, we don't have a whole month of raids like we did last time. Um, hopefully, to give us a little bit of a break, that would be nice. Back-to-back uh, -back raids just gets rough, really rough. Uh, so, we have a chance to obtain a five-star select summon ticket from this. Awesome. Um, Darkness Awakens, collect event points and obtain completion rewards. Uh, Hasiko, the boss featured in the Darkness Awakens raid event was illustrated by Saver, who submitted a uh, who submitted an entry for the 2017 FanFest unit design contest. This will be going on from 9:28 to 10:12, our, our standard two-week uh, raid. Um, raid summon period will from 9:28 to 10:19, which means you can you can burn up your raid summons a week after the raid ends. Incarnation of Hatred appears in the vortex, dimensional vortex. Damage the Incarnation of Hatred to obtain event points and raid coins. All right, so it looks like we get some red little coins there. Get individual rewards based on the event points you collect. Perform raid summons with the raid coins to collect. Looks like a bunch of little items there. We got our five-star select ticket. Looks like we have some uh, raid crafting materials. Nice. Use materials obtained from the raid summon to craft event limited equipment. Uh, some of this equipment's really good, guys. We will hop in there and talk about some of it. Uh, obtain recipes and materials as an individual rewards. So, Raven Figurine, very, very good. Attack 25, Magic 25. Very, very solid. Double stats. Great for hybrid units. Um, you may or may not have better, but if you don't have anything better, this is gonna this is gonna be great for your Frevias. This is gonna be great for your Kanshiras, your other hybrid units. Throw it on your Ashes. Wh whatever you're using hybrid wise, this has two this has two really good stats on there that could be very helpful to you. Uh, half Crescent Rod, Attack 15, Magic 80, uh, Boost Magic and MP by 15% for Cersei only. Eh, I, I I'm not a fan of the raid event items that have that type of stuff on there um where it's like boost magic and mp 15 percent only for that character it kind of drives me nuts but whatever whatever uh avian cloak uh defense 27 attack and magic 10 nullify paralysis enable auto refresh for malfisi only all right G regenerate mp each turn during the battle okay uh whoa whoa we just got we're getting an attack 68 light elemental gauntlet guys light elemental gauntlet yes we've been needing something like that light elemental gauntlet uh that grab it up you're gonna want to get that um great for elemental chaining get some uses out of it uh we also have the big red ribbon and uh bizarre sculpture all right Five star select summon ticket. Obtain a five star select summon ticket through individual rewards from participating in the raid event. Please see the five star select summon ticket uh, news post for more details. Um, raid, raid boss information can be confirmed via FFBE Raid of Darkness Awakens event quest selected screen. Individual, individual rewards and rankings can be confirmed from completion status icon. All right. And then again, you participate in the raid event. You get your five orbs. Uh, we're still waiting for our ten orbs. That would be nice for the raid bosses. 
Um, let's see here. We have a chance to get a uh, uh, Moogles. We have a chance to get some uh, uh, raid crafting materials. We have a chance to get a uh, four star select summon ticket. Few other things in here. Raid summons available for a limited period. Uh, we'll be able to summon up all this stuff. Uh, looks like mega sites. Looks like some uh, king cactors uh, for some XP. Uh, some gill snappers. It looks like our standard raid. We're gonna get all the trust moogles. We're gonna get the select uh, the select trust moogles that go to uh, specific raid units. It looks like those are gonna be in there and four star tickets all right all right so we got a free 10 plus one summon here limit to one per player uh, players can perform a 10 plus one summon with drop rates increased for Malfisi and Cersei available once per player during the summon period the summon period is going to be going on from 928 to 1012 um, and yeah head over to the summon screen find it it probably looks something like this. Um, just go to the summon screen. Look around. You'll find it. All right, guys. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. I'm going to try to post two videos a week. I really like how um, I'm able to break this up. Uh, this video is strictly on the event and uh, the banner. Uh, my video previously was on all the updated news, uh, the Lapis Will of Ads, all that good stuff. If you guys want to check that out, check out the video, Lapis Will of Ads. Oh yeah, most definitely. All right, guys, catch you later. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. That's over somewhere over in one of these directions. All right, guys, catch you later. Have a good one.